Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to copy any movie that you have at home or any movie that you've rented onto disc and burning it to another disc. So the two programs that you're going to need today are a DVD shrink, um, preferably 3.2 because that's, that's quite a good one. I think there might be a newer version now or there might be several newer versions. Um, but DVD shrink you need to download. Then you need to download Nero. Um, the links are in the description so um, I will put those in there for you so that you can download those straight away so firstly what you need to do is you need to put the, the actual um, movie into your hard drive um, and it needs to be into a writable hard drive so that you can write this um, DVD onto another disc and then um, once it's done that obviously it will open up just uh, click off anything that pops up and then go straight into DVD shrink which will open up and will look similar to this um, then after that what you need to do is you need to open up files uh, sorry no, you need to open disk and then select the drive that it's in so the, the disk that I've got is um, in the D drive so then click OK it will then analyze the disk which will um, take probably about a couple of seconds if that now the only reason mine isn't analysing is because I've already done this process before so it remembers it from last time um, here's another thing as well on the side here it's got English and it's got another language so choose the language that you actually have um, when you install the program it allow you to have all different um, languages so you can choose the correct one and then when you've done that you need to click on backup and then here is basically where the um, files are going to go which is very important because you need to make sure that you remember where these files are going so I've actually made a, um, a folder called Insidious because that's the name of the movie that I'm going to back up and um, so that means all the files will go into that folder which I created so make sure you create a folder or put it somewhere you're going to remember and then you, all you got to do is click OK and then um, it's going to start creating all them files and putting it into two folders named Video TS and Audio TS. Now I'm not going to click OK because I've already done this process, so I will show you now what you will see. So I'll go to my documents, I'll double click on Insidious, and there it is Audio TS, there's nothing in there, Video TS, and that's what we need. This is the things that we need. So now them two folders are actually there, just keep them there and remember where they are. Then you need to open up Nero. And then when that's finished loading, it will give you an option here. And you need to go down to where it says DVD video. Then you need to make sure it's on the burn tab. And then you need to click on new. And then it will open up your file, um, your directories. And then you need to find Insidious or whatever you've named your folder. And then just click on it here where it says, as you can see, look, Insidious is here on the left. And just drag it over to this blank area here and it will then import all of them video files into this one section and then all you've got to do then is click on burn now I'm not going to click burn because obviously the disk is still in my drive but I'm just going to take it out and then now it's out you put a new disk in click on burn and this will pop up um, the only thing that you need to have ticked on here is write you can verify written data but it's I, I wouldn't really recommend it so it's, it's an optional thing if you know what you're doing then click it but if not just leave it blank and just have right and then when you've done that click on burn and it will burn to any um, blank disk that's in your drive and then when you've done that it will take around about it takes around about six minutes for my computer um, but depending on how good your processor is and how much RAM you've got will depend on how quick it takes but it shouldn't take any longer than half an hour for any computer to do that so unless of course you're running running this on the notebook then you will probably are looking about an hour <laughs> but um, that's how you do it guys once that's done it will then um, chuck the disc back out to you and then you can pop it into your DVD player and watch it and um, that's how you copy any DVD and put it onto a disc of your own so thank you for watching please rate and subscribe this video if it's helped you and uh, I will see you in my next video